Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today's video is going to be Full Set Friday. Happy Friday you all. I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you can end it off good by having an amazing weekend. And I uploaded a video today so you get to start your weekend with me. <laughs> Anyways, yes, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another nail video. As I told you, I am going to do a series of full set Fridays every Friday. Today, my husband picked out our nails, y'all. So these are the nails we will be doing today. These are cute. So go ahead and grab your wine, especially because it's Friday, girl. Chill, relax, unwind, sip your wine and come hang out with me. Let me show you how I do my nails. Come on, let's, let's chill. <laughs> and let's get into this nail video. These are how my nails look. After a week, this is what my nails look like. <laughs> Girl. All right, let me tell you the story, okay? <laughs> So to start off, this thumb right here gave me issues. Girl, you see how short it is, right? It's my it's my fingernail. Like it's it's my fingernail. But I had chipped the corner here when I was trying to do something. I think I was trying to put like groceries away or something. I was trying to do something chore wise and it nicked the corner of it. So I said, okay, no problem. I'll file it down, down. So I in kind of like the square shape. So it still had the corners. Girl, then I broke this corner doing some nonsense. I don't even know. So I just said, you know what? Let me go, go ahead, ahead and just, you know, file it out and stick it through. Let's see how long these things work. Girl, so this is how this is how it lasted. I, I do chores around the house and stuff. So I'm always washing dishes, cleaning up, you know, wiping counters, doing laundry. I'm always doing all that stuff with my nails. And I am kind of heavy handed. So I'm sure that's I'm sure that's probably why some of these nails popped off. These two nails definitely popped off because of that. Because I literally was washing dishes, and you know your hands get all like wrinkly, little. girl. And then your nails are soft. The glue doesn't stick, and boom, bam, boom, your nails popped off. Your nails gone. So that's what happened with these two. And this one, I forgot what I was doing, but this one just popped completely off, and it hurt so bad. But yeah, that was that was the first one to pop off. Because like I said, this one didn't pop off. It I just had to file it. But this one, girl, it popped off and was not wanting to come back because I couldn't really find it. <laughs> but anyway, so I don't know how I lost this nail. We're going to leave that a mystery. Cause I don't even know. But this is how my nails look. So it's time to hook your girl up with a new set. Uh-uh, I can't know. And I ca typically, these nails would have been off. These nails would have been gone. They would have not been stated. They wouldn't know. It, no. I would have been had a new set on. But I figured because I'm doing the reviews on how they look. I always watch nail videos and no one really like shows, shows how they how, hold up like throughout the week. How did it turn how? out? Like let me know. But so this is pretty much the ending result. I figured I'd do it in my YouTube channel. So, you know. Here they are. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do a full set, girl, because we need it. Bye-bye to these sets of nails. They were good overall while they lasted. Sturdy. I had to refile it because it did lose shape because, like I said, I do type at my job, so it did lose shape a lot. It started getting round. Filing it down see. a little bit to make a back square and blah, 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 blah. But anyways let's go ahead and do it so so we're gonna go ahead and pop off the rest of these nails i just literally pop them off i mean they've been on for so long the glue is probably ready to come off so i just really pop them off i pop them off gently you know i don't force it or rip it i just gently pop them off so i will go ahead and do that and i will come back with my nails bare now that i went ahead and took the nails off i'm gonna go ahead and again as you guys know, push my cuticles back some more. So let's go ahead and do that to all of them. So as I stated in my very first Full Set Friday video, we're going to be talking about topics. We're going we're to do Q&As when I do this, whenever, you know, you guys start asking me questions. <laughs> 
But for now, I figured, why not talk about, because I love watching movies. I love watching movies. If I'm not working or if I'm not spending time with my family, your girl's watching movies. So <laughs> I think the I think what I can do is do movie talks. Like talk about the latest movie or TV show I'm watching and let me know what y'all think about it. If Let's talk about it. If you're a fan, I just like I'm a fan. Girl, I want to know. I want to chit chat with you. Let's talk about it. So I figured why not start that until, you know, I grow my channel. And then once I grow my channel and truly figure out what I want to do on these Fridays. Girl, that's what's going to be it. To begin with the topic, I am in the middle of it. Not in the middle because I'm almost done with the TV series. It's called Claws. It's on Hulu. And yes, girl, I know it came out, it been out, but I'm on season three, episode eight. I just was just watching it on my phone. Like, um, when I tell you I watch movies, I binge watch. And I binge watch, even when I'm at work, I binge watch. Like, so, anyways. I am on the TV sh the TV series Claws. And oh yeah, spoiler alert, if you have not seen the TV show Claws, go ahead and click off. I will go ahead and allow you guys to stop watching now. When I talk about movies, I am going to be throwing spoilers out there. So, I'll definitely put in the title like what movie I'm going to talk about. So, when you know, okay, I don't care to watch that TV show. Girl, come on, let me give you the tea. Let me tell you what it's about. So, you don't have to watch it. Anyways. <laughs> I want to talk about Claws because that's what I'm on right now. And, oh my God, is it a good TV series. Let me know what you think about Claws. Let me know how your perception is on season one, two, and three. I hope they make more. I haven't seen the ending of season three. As you know, because there are 10 episodes in every season. I'm not so sure I if the last episode is like a cliffhanger to where it might be like, you know, a uh, new season. But I hope so. <laughs> now we're going, now that I pushed all my cuticles back, we're going to go ahead and file the free edge. Again, probably not a lot because I didn't have a lot of new growth, but still always good to make sure it's nice and tidy so let's do that so claws okay now i'm about now i'm about to spoilers so claws is a tv series it has three seasons 10 episodes each season and i'm currently on season three episode eight so i only have two more left I'm so, it's bittersweet because there's no more seasons after that. So I'm hoping there's more. But pretty much what Claws is about. This woman owns a nail salon. And with the nail salon, she has this group of girls who are her employees slash best friends. They end up, so the girls that work there are her close friends. And pretty much they get mixed up in all this gang selling drugs, like all this shenanigans. It gets down to the point to where, honestly, I think I'm gonna talk about where I'm at and not explain the whole thing. Is Desi, which is the main character, she, you know, she married old boy and then Russian woman and her kill old, well, she killed old boy. And then, you know, she ended up, you know, getting all his assets, well, sold the assets to old Russian girl, but old Russian girl died. So all the assets were back to her. Anyways, <laughs> she's now with her, her ex-husband, the one she married, gave her a casino. So now she's in the casino, but the owners of the casino or his partners were trying to get rid of her. So she was like, this is this is season three. I'm, I'm explaining season three, just so y'all know. I'm, I know I'm all over the place and I'm sorry, but girl, I'm trying to do this as I go. So now she's dealing with all this mess at the casino, trying to figure out how to pay this Asian dude back. He's like the, he's like the head honcho of mon the money laundering corporation, whatever. So I'm at that part and I'm really kind of stoked to see how she figures that out. And Dean, Dean Dunn, the 
broke up with his fiance, was stuck, now addicted to this casino gambling game. It's, it's juicy. Y'all gotta watch it. But I thought I'd tell y'all I was watching it. I thought I'd put that as a topic of this video. <laughs> And by the way, yeah, change of plans. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to truly talk about what I'm watching these because. because trying to remember everything in a movie and then talk about it, I'll probably like give you updates of what movies and TV shows I'm I'm watching and you know explain a little bit about it. But yeah, don't don't hold me to that movie word. <laughs> Just saying. But yeah, I figured I'd tell you about the claws. It's really good. It's really juicy. I cannot wait to finish season three and find something else to watch. What are some recommendations of TV shows for me to watch? I have Hulu and I have Netflix. And I also have Paramount. So let me know. My favorite TV show from Paramount is Ink Masters. Oh my God, have y'all watched Ink Masters? I watch Ink Masters seasons one through 17. I watched them all. I watched the rivals. Every single uh, season of Ink Master. I've heard about it on Netflix because Netflix, um, I didn't have Hulu at the time. I didn't have Paramount at the time, but then I saw on Hulu that, you know, a season, or I saw on Netflix that seasons one and two of Ink Masters was on. So me and my husband watched it. We really loved it. Girl, and then I started watching season three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way to seventeen. I watched it all, and I really like it. I don't know why they stopped it. I tried to look up why, but I couldn't really find anything. It's a really good TV show. It made me feel like I knew everything about tattoos, everything. Like, <laughs> and I don't. I really don't know shit about tattoos. Mm -mm. But I have one. My husband's initials. And I love it. And I want more. So y'all will see me with some more tattoos. Anyways. So that was a good TV show I found on Paramount. Me and my husband are in the middle of watching Raising Dion. And that's pretty good. Pretty interesting. Uh, some of the episodes I feel are prolonged for no reason. You know, because they just had to throw something in there, I feel. But it's pretty good. I'm not done with that one yet. Still got some episodes to go on that one but I think we are on season two I think I'm not sure but that looks pretty good now that I filed I am gonna go ahead and buff as last time and you know we are almost through halfway there boo but yeah let's see what other tv shows and if y'all have topics that y'all want me to talk about on these full set Fridays put it in the comments let me know Let's see. Oh, I watched Grey's Anatomy. I watched The Good Doctor. The Good Doctor is really good. I'm mad that I'm mad that their season like ended, but the last episode, like the season finale, was like not a season finale. It looked like a regular episode, unless I'm missing something and Hulu didn't download or have all the episodes, you know? Cause you know how Hulu, it gives you certain seasons, like on the Bad Girls Club, it gives you season, it gives you seasons eight and then 13 and then like one, it doesn't give you all of them. I don't know. I am going to watch Kingsman with my husband and I'm so excited. I've watched Kingsman one and two with my parents and it was really good i loved it so y'all go watch it so we can talk about it <laughs> y'all gotta go watch claws too so y'all can see what i'm talking about by desna it's really good y'all need to go watch it and then come back and tell me y'all watched it <laughs> <laughs> if y'all remember this video chat but yeah i mean i watch people on youtube i watch uh miss joy more i watch her I watch Miss Jemima, Jemima, I, th I think it's Jemima, Miss Jemima, I watch, I watch, you know, a few people, but I'm back into my movie series, so I tried to watch the new Halloween, it was a little too graphic for me, like, I'm good with the nice little horror movie, but it was like, it showed the whole scene of him stabbing this woman in the neck with a freaking 
a light bulb like you know in the offices where they have them long light bulb them long circular light bulbs girl broke that in half and just stabbed it right through her neck but the whole scene was showing like he was just going and going and going and going with n no emotion on his face nah i'm good that's that's a little too much for me <laughs> so i i stopped it in like the middle of it but now that my nails are done cuticles are pushed back my free edge is filed evenly and they are buffed we are going to use these nails today remember these are the nails that i'm going to change into coffin because i do not like stiletto so i'm going to change these into coffin and it was the bare it all color so let's go ahead and remember these are the nails that are one size every single nail so every single nail is different which sucks but hey it's a dollar can't get mad if i can ever open this Let's see how these last. Are y'all excited for this series? Let me know in the comments below. Are y'all excited for this? Like, are y'all excited to see how thing, how these nails really work? <laughs> are y'all curious too? Like how I told y'all, you know, I was curious how their nails turned out when I would watch videos on how people did their nails and whatever. Like, were y'all curious about how the end result looked? I know Ivy, so I figured why not do it with my videos. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and Fit. Yeah, these are stiletto, stiletto, but ugly stiletto. Like, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and size match and make sure it fits. That's good for the thumb. Let's see. Um, this one's pretty good for the thumb as well. This one's just like extremely big, so we're probably not gonna do that one. Let's see the thinnest one. Let's see. Okay, that one's good for the pinky. Let's see the next one. Okay. That one's good for the pinky. Let's see. Yep. All right, I, I figured. All right. So, yeah, those that's pretty much what I watch. So let me know what y'all think I should watch next. Right? My best friends told me to watch Euphoria, I think it's called. And I watched season, I watched the first episode of season one. And y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really interested in it. Like, I think, okay, maybe I gave it too short, you know, of a chance. Because I was in like eight minutes into it. But I don't know. I don't know if I'll, I can vibe with it. I came know. from Kiss. Excuse me. I had to pop that bitch off. <clears throat> Again, if they are, if it's too big on the sides, I just go ahead and file it down on the sides because it's so much better rather than you trying to actually like just glue it on. It looks better. I feel. And more natural. Natural and looks cute. So let's go ahead and put this on. And then let's go ahead and fit it on. So, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay focused in focus in frame. So yeah. Oh, I also found out today that Stranger Things, where are my Stranger Things fans? Yo, me and my husband, my sisters, we all love Stranger Things. Like you can never go wrong with a Stranger Things TV show. That TV show is so good. Me and my husband binge watched all three seasons within a weekend, girl. 
a weekend. That TV show is the bomb. If y'all haven't seen it, y'all need to put that on your bucket list. Like, that's how good it is. <laughs> Whenever the nails are small, it's very hard to push it down. But when you only have, when you have to work with a limited amount size, girl, you gotta do what you gotta do. So. Anyways, the last nail, y'all, the last nail. Finally did it. Your girl finally getting a full set. Well, update a full set, cause girl, you saw, y'all saw my white ones, right? It was time for your girl to bounce back with a fresh set. I am gonna go get a pedicure, so my nails will be matching my toes. Even though I still put press-ons on, I still have my toes match my nails. These are how they look before I file them the way I want them to be filed. My husband said they was cricket. Y'all, they cricket. I'm going to go ahead and file the size like last time. Make it look nice and natural or make it look like it's my nail. And I don't like how there's like a, thank you, honey. And once I go ahead and file them, I'm just gonna go ahead and nip it like that. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, and you have a coffin. A coffin nail, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that cute? See how it was before? After. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this to all my nails. And then I will be right back to show y'all the finished look. All right, beauties. So here is how they look after I filed them. Tell me they don't look way much better than the stiletto on my fingers. Like, yes, this is the overall how I like them. Now, after I do that, I go ahead and buff the ends because as I told you, I have kids, so I don't need my nails super duper sharp. It's not, it's not cool. It's not cool when you scratch your baby. No, let me make sure there's no. It also brings a soft look to it, which is what I like a lot. Girl, wait till I put the oil on. Just wait. Hmm. Don't forget to comment below what you want me to watch, y'all, so I can talk about it. And then y'all could probably ask me questions. Okay, so y'all could probably ask me questions about, you know, how I feel about a certain thing with a certain TV show that you watched, you know? Just let me know. So after I buff everything, it's pretty much done. I test it out. Oh, this one is still kind of sharp. All right, so now I am going to put my oil, my cuticle and vitamin E oil on my fingers. Damn, that was a lot. I do have eczema on my hands, so my hands are really dry. And with filing, it really don't help. These are them. These are the ending. This is the ending look. This is them. I really like them. For me. For me. They're nude too. So y'all saw how they were stiletto? I don't like stiletto. I can't stand stiletto. I it's just not for my fingers or for me. And that don't mean they don't they're not cute stilettos out there now. I've seen so many cute stiletto designs that it made me want to go get some. So but I'm not. <laughs> I will get them, but coffin style. Let me get the coffin shape, but do the same design like that. That would be me. Or let me get the square shape and do the same design. That would be me. But anyways, this is the ending result of how my nails came out. Wait, where are my real ones? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Because I know my real ones are right oh, there. y'all are. I know my real ones are right there. Thank you so much, real ones. You already know I'm going to shout you out. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for watching through to the whole video without skipping ahead, without watching a little bit and then deucing out on your girl. 
thank you i appreciate it don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can go ahead and join the beauty squad over here and also don't forget to put the bell notifications on so you can be notified when your girl posts another video i love my nails let me know in the comments down below how you think my nails turned out if you like them and girl let's see if these last a week girl let's see because now they are they are sturdy for them to be long these do have length so we're working with length now so for these to be long let's see how they are if the corners chip if they pop off i put enough glue as i typically would but let's see how they go girl so until next time boo have a great weekend i hope you guys had a great friday a safe friday and yeah i will see you guys on monday <laughs> bye beauties